people love chasing new cybersecurity trends, but the truth is, the fundamentals still run the show. So let's talk about the indispensable cybersecurity skills, the ones you can't fake, can't skip, and can't replace with ChatGPT. Here's the first one, adversarial thinking. It's the ability to think like an attacker, not just defend like a security guard. Anyone can follow security policies, but adversarial thinkers ask questions like, if I were the hacker, how would I break this? It's not about being paranoid, it's about being imaginative. And that's the ironic thing. Good cybersecurity actually requires a little bit of bad guy creativity. You need to look at systems from a sideways perspective, not head on. Because if you can't imagine how something can be broken, you'll never really know if it's safe. Next, there's pattern recognition. Every breach, every attack, every unusual log file, they all leave patterns. The best cybersecurity experts can spot those patterns like detectives. They see a random IP pinging every five seconds and think, hmm, that's not normal. Or they notice a slightly different domain name, goggle.com instead of google.com, and instantly know someone's up to something. It's not some magical sixth sense. It's just training your brain to notice small inconsistencies that others overlook. If you've ever spotted a scam email before your parents did, congratulations, you've already got the seed of this skill. And the more you train your eyes to spot patterns, the more invisible threats start to glow in plain sight. Now here's a skill most people underestimate, risk prioritization. Because honestly, you can't protect everything. If you try, you'll end up like a security guard guarding every door and missing the one open window. In cybersecurity, you learn to ask, what's the most valuable thing here? What's most likely to be attacked? And what's the least I can afford to lose? That's risk management in a nutshell, the ability to focus your energy where it actually matters. Funny enough, it's not just a cybersecurity skill, it's a life skill too. You can't lock down your entire life, but you can protect the parts that truly matter. Fourth, curiosity. Curiosity is what turns an average cybersecurity student into a great one. You see a weird process running in Task Manager, instead of ignoring it, you Google it. You find an unfamiliar network port, and you look it up. You hear SQL injection, and instead of nodding like you understand, you actually go learn it. That's curiosity, and it's what makes this field exciting, because there's always something new to learn. Without curiosity, cybersecurity becomes a checklist. With it, it becomes an adventure. And the cool part? Curiosity pays off, because every time you chase one weird question, you're secretly leveling up your brain. Here's a big one that doesn't get enough credit, systems thinking. Cybersecurity isn't just about fixing vulnerabilities, it's about understanding how everything connects. One weak password in one department can lead to a company-wide breach. One misconfigured cloud setting can expose millions of records. Systems thinkers zoom out. They see how technology, people, and processes form one giant web and how one tug can make the whole thing collapse. So if you ever find yourself saying, that's not my problem, in cybersecurity, trust me, it probably is. Now, this one might surprise you. Communication. Yes, I know you didn't get into cybersecurity to talk to people, but hear me out. You could be the best threat analyst in the world, but if you can't explain your findings clearly, nobody will act on them. You need to speak security and human. That means turning, there's a vulnerability in our SMTP relay into our email system could be used to send fake messages. Because at the end of the day, cybersecurity isn't just about computers, it's about convincing people to care about them. Finally, adaptability. If there's one thing you can count on in cybersecurity, it's that nothing stays the same. Yesterday's exploits become tomorrow's memes. Today's defenses will be outdated in a year. Adaptability means staying curious enough to keep learning, humble enough to admit when you don't know something, and flexible enough to evolve with the field. If you ever feel like cybersecurity is moving too fast, that's normal. Everyone feels that way, even the experts. The trick is to keep moving anyway. Because in this field, standing still is the most dangerous vulnerability you can have. So, no matter what tools you use or what certifications you chase, remember, these are the real skills that make cybersecurity professionals irreplaceable. 
adversarial thinking, pattern recognition, risk prioritization, curiosity, systems thinking, communication, adaptability. Tools will change, trends will fade, but these skills, they're not just indispensable, they're timeless. And maybe that's the paradox of cybersecurity. The more things change, the more the most important skills stay the same. 